and here we go the chicago bulls finally on the clock at number 11 take a very underrated g league ignite prospect who is lengthy a wing a big guard a guy who can do a bunch of things really well and a guy who i actually really do like according to shams in other uh, nba sources chicago is selecting uh, matas bazoulis let me know in the comments down below if i said that right i probably butchered it please correct me thank you so much and with that being said in this video we're gonna break down everything you need to know about matis what he brings as a player on and off the floor but more importantly why i actually think that this could be a play for the long run where he could develop into a really good player at the nba level if the coaching is right and if the work ethic is up to par as well now before we get into the video and break down who he is as a player make sure you guys do me a favor and comment down below a letter grade and let me know if you actually like this pick yes or no but with that being said let's kind of dive into the video now the number one thing we notice about Matis is you know he's a guy who kind of plays that role of like a Michael Porter Jr right he's really big but is actually really good with the basketball in his hands is really smooth from downtown has a good release point and he's a really good floor spacer but also has that 6'9 6'10 frame is only probably going to get a little bit bigger from here but a guy who can defend multiple different positions is kind of athletic as well now, I don't think he's going to be a guy who's ever going to average more than 25 points a game. I, I don't know if he's going to do that, but he's a guy that could be one of the best role players on a team, right? You talk about the Gordon Haywards or the Michael Porter Jr. I mean, it says here, right? You look at their comparisons here, right? MPJ, Gordon Hayward, Mike Dunleavy. Those are the guys that they kind of compare him to. And I kind of agree, right? Guys that can come in here and make a big time di difference on a championship winning team in terms of playing defense one through five. Um, you know, being able to, you know, play within a role offensively, being able to spot up from the three-point line, sit in the corner, but also just has good touch with the basketball around the, around the basket, you know, outside the three-point line in the mid-range. This dude is a high-level scorer can score pretty much everywhere on the basketball floor and i think he's a guy that can come in here and make a big time difference um so they actually say i see him as a, a solid or high level role player at the nba level a guy who plays off the ball and does a bit of everything on the court that's kind of like what i see him as right i don't think he's going to be a first option i don't think he's going to be a guy that's going to change everything but i do think he'll change a lot both offensively and defensively i think he's someone who needs to build up some muscle a little bit but man, when you talk about the potential offensively to hit big time shots, it's this guy right here, man. So I don't mind the pick at all. And I think down the, down the line in three, four years from now, if you have a really good team around him, he is going to be someone who does change a lot for your basketball team. And if he even bulks up a little bit, the dude could be insane defensively as well. So let me know what you guys think down below. Hit the like button, subscribe. If you guys want to watch some of the Summer League games with me, Go subscribe to my Twitch. I will be live streaming some of those games throughout the summer. Matty Dubs with three S's, or you can find the link in the description. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next Bulls update. Peace.